Yo right, guys, so in today's video what I want to do is show you a good website that is basically good to get a hang of and it's basically very very useful for beginners. So if you're a beginner this will, this tutorial should basically give you a good good um a sort of a grasp of exploit db. So if you don't know what exploit db is, it's basically a website with common vulnerabilities, right? So if you have Kali installed, I think it should be on some other operating systems as well um, that are designed for ethical hacking. So if you go to your basically browser, which is Mozilla for Kali, and there should be Google Hacking DB. This is different uh, because you're using Google search engine to look for a vulnerable websites, for example, configuration files, configuration, you know, secret websites, robots.txt and stuff like that, right? So exploitdatabase.com um, is a website that has thousands and thousands of vulnerabilities. If you look at the left corner, let me just make this bigger for you. In the left corner, it says 46,000 entries, right? So this is very, very easy to find a certain exploit. Now, obviously this is a sort of 50-50 game, right? You might have to find an exploit, I may not get an exploit. And there's also another thing about couple percent it's a it's a numbers game right hacking is a basically a numbers game you might get this you might get um into the system like you used to like with maybe have a technique like a certain way but it might not always work right and this is the same thing with this right so i have prepared this is a try hack me level because it basically allows me to make this video much much more quicker than rather than me looking for thousands thousands of virtual machines or finding or installing myself which just saves me time, which that's why I'm using try hack me. So basically this is a, as you can see, it's a not configured website, right? So as you can see, it says, welcome to fuel CMS. CMS is a content management system. That's what it stands for, right? And it's like WordPress um, and stuff like that, right? So what this gives us is a very, very important thing, important knowledge. So we know the CMS, and we know the version as well, which is also important, right? Because if you go to, if you go to like example, say WordPress, right? And as you can see, there's 1400 entries. And if you're supposed to look through every single one, you would be here till tomorrow. And you still have a, like about maybe, I would say about 50-50 for now. It matters what you're trying to exploit, but there's a 50-50 chance you are going to get in, right? And I would suggest, I'm not going to go through the whole website, but I would suggest you look at yourself because as you can see, it's, it's, it's a big website. You can use like, um, there's also some other stuff, search split manual, online training, submissions, show codes, um, papers, GH, I think that's, yeah, that's Google dorking. Yeah. Google hacking database, as I said before, and that's exploits. So I think you should get familiar with this website because it's very, very important that you know that these exploits are there and you can use them to your advantage, right? What I'm going to be doing is showing you how to use this website and how to use website exploits from this website to your advantage, right? And how to exploit. So let's try and exploit something, right? Because uh, we love exploiting, right? That's why we're here. So we have, as I said, we have the fuel CMS and version 1.4. So I, found, I have found this exploit that works for this website. Now there's some other exploits that might not work necessarily. You might have to try other ones. So make sure that you try some other ones. As you can see, this is a few CMS and some other ones. Um, I don't know what this is, but yeah, let's just ignore the Franklin one. So the few CMS, as you can see, there's quite a lot of exploits. Now this one works for, C for few CMS 1.41 on the machine I'm using, right? So we're going to use this one. And what you need to do, go, what you need to do is go through the code, right? And figure out which programming language is using. Cause sometimes you have Perl, Ruby, other programming languages, right? The most of them would be Python or sometimes are bin bash, right? So, now this is Python, right? So we can obviously put .py, which already have done that on my desktop. 
So this is an exploit that is ready to run and is working. So what we're going to do is going to go to um, terminal, because this is how we launch it. And what we're going to do is go to CD desktop to make everything easier. And what we're going to do is Python minus, uh, sorry, Python 3. And uh, we're going to do is run py, py, sorry. And then we're going to do HTTP. Now, sometimes you might not have to, sometimes you have to actually might put the code inside the mouse pad. Sometimes you might have to edit the code yourself because there's sometimes could be errors. There's many things that could happen, right? But as I said, you may have to change the code sometimes. It's not always working, but most of the time it works, right? As you can see, the, the link here is wrong because the link for me is way different IP address. So um, let's close this. And how do you specify? Um, if it's Python or like Ruby or Perl, you might have to look for the code and identify. For example, I know that import, if it says import, it's definitely Python, plus it says here. Now, this might not always say it's Python. Um, you might have to just, just do some digging around to find what sort of program language this is, but it's not all that bad, right? So um, let's, lo let's look through the URL and let's try and put the IP address. Let's do the... Uh, what did I do wrong? Oh, sorry. I pop. As you can see, it tells you if you do a little mistake, it will just tells you the what to do. So as you can see, it's connecting, and it says enter command. Now, if I do who am I? It actually works, and it tells you system www data. Let's ignore system, and it tells you data, right? And we can sort of get maybe ID, and it tells us who we are. And basically, this is it, right? This is basically how easy it is to exploit. Now, basically from here, you can do basically anything you want. You can get a reverse shell. You can do upload a file. You can actually request to the website to download the file from us and then run it, as I said, to get a reverse shell. There's basically anything you want you can do, right? So this is also important that if you ever want to run a CMS, that you make sure that, you know, if you're running a CMS, and it's also good to know that you can pen test this way your websites and stuff like that or your company's websites and whatever you need to do, right? So that's uh, just a short video. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm not uploading as much. I'm just trying to find interesting content as much. And I'm also trying to find new vulnerabilities for you guys to show you guys and for you to, for especially for the beginners to learn. And as I said, if you need any help, you can always message me on Twitter. My Twitter is on my YouTube's profile. You can always message me there. I'm always there. I might not reply instantly, but I should reply within couple hours um, and that's it hope you enjoyed this video if you can leave a like subscribe comment and see you later guys thank you for watching